Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Unreal World with me, I am Wolfric. We are home. Our expedition was reasonably successful. We got ourselves a broad axe, a... Yes, that was it. We only got the broad axe. We didn't get the splitting axe because it was too expensive. And we didn't get the arrows either because that was ridiculous. They were charging us out the nose and we can make those ourselves. People may think the the amount of time that we've sat here making arrows in the past has been long and arduous, but I'd rather sit and make them myself than pay good meat cuts for arrows. It's pointless. And we've come back home and we've still got a fair amount of meat left with us, which is good, because I didn't want to trade all of it away, because we're still going to need food to survive. So the bear is what I tried to keep most of. We traded away everything else. We've only got a few forest reindeer cuts left. We've only got 20 of those. We've got seven wild boar cuts, and the rest is all bear. And this is the other thing we traded for, 22 dried trouts. That is really good. Salmon and trout are the largest fish in the game. They weigh about seven pounds each, and generally the highest concentration of them is in rapids. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can find them is in river rapids, which is one of the reasons that when we start setting up to build a house, I want to build a house next to a river especially a river with rapids, so that we have a possibility of catching trout and salmon, because they are the most efficient food source in the game. They are the most nutritious and the most uh, efficient as well, because each trout or salmon weighs seven times as much as a single bear cut. So ever since the beginning of this uh, Let's Play, I've said that I don't put much stock into fishing because fishing with nets is really unpredictable as far as I'm concerned. I don't put much luck into it whatsoever and fishing with a rod is just as unpredictable. At least if you are hunting, once you've found an animal it's then just a matter of perseverance and chasing it down. You can't chase down a fish, which is, you know, obviously the case. So, but we've got these 22 dried trouts, they should be really good food source and we also got this, a bag of barley grains. Now, I'm pretty sure the grains count as the seeds for barley, so if we keep some of these barley grains around, then when autumn comes around, or rather when we just start doing agriculture, I'm not sure when the planting season is. I think it might have already passed, I'm not sure, we'll see. But we can start planting our own barley crops which will be great because barley you grind into flour and when you've grind, ground it into flour it is imperishable it doesn't go off as far as I'm aware or it lasts a really freaking long time like over a year and with that flour you can then make porridge you can make bread again just great emergency food um, so yeah that was the result of our little trip so, now, I'm really, really feeling nervous about this. I don't know how long we were ready for. I don't know if this is perished or not. Harsh, dehaired elk skin. Two days left. Thank... Oh, yes. Thank you very much. I did not want to waste 20 pounds of elk leather. That is wonderful. We haven't missed out. Excellent. So, it's morning we are going to drop off all of our food that we've got left so we're going to finish eating these awful smoked bear cuts we're going to drop the barley grains, we're going to drop the forest reindeer cuts we're going to drop the trouts, the bear cuts, the bear cuts, the bear cuts and the wild boar we will keep because it's dried and obviously weighs less than a pound I love jerky uh, we've got our water skin, that's fine. What else can we drop? We can drop the... Broad axe. We don't need that. So, now, the next thing it's asking us to do on the tutorial is the water course. So we're not going to make a raft, we're going to use the Endive Survival mod to make a punt, or in this, or in the mod as it's called, a dugout canoe. So, for a rough dugout hull, we need a tree trunk and an axe, which is why we carved, why we cut down a tree trunk to begin with. We... Oh! 
Ooh, 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 no, no, cancel, 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 cancel the current task. Broad axe is good. I did not know that, but apparently for this it wants us to use a broad axe. So excellent, that'll make it go quicker and it will make it better quality as well, hopefully. So before we do that, we're going to eat and we're going to drink. And now we are going to, yeah, now we're going to make a dugout canoe. So repeat, let's do it. Now the last time I did this, despite the fact that I tried to minimise the uh, penalties mono, it still came out as crappy, so let's see. An, an inferior rough dugout canoe. Yeah, and it did the wrong one. Well, nuts to you. But, I don't mind. Wow. Carrying 557 pounds, a minus 100% penalty. Yeah, we do not want to be carrying an inferior rough dugout hull that weighs 500 pounds. Although, interestingly enough, let's try picking up this tree trunk. Mm, too heavy. Okay. <laughs> so apparently a tree trunk weighs more than 500 pounds. That's interesting. And yet, we can use... Oh no, a tree trunk is 500 pounds as well. So we can't lift up a tree trunk, but apparently we can lift up a dugout canoe hull that weighs the same amount. Okay then. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so let's eat. We wanna Yeah, there we go. Abundant. Now that we're home and we don't have to worry about all that other stuff. But damn, we're ready to drop again and it's the middle of the day, so we are just going to sit here doing absolutely bugger all for as long as we can until we pass out. We're going to not do a damn thing. And we're going to continue to not do a damn thing, because we want to make sure that our sleep cycle is fixed. We want to be going to sleep in the evening and waking up at the morning. So we're going to eat quickly. Of course, we have to keep in mind that as we proceed through the year and it gets further into summer, the nights are going to be shorter as well. So before, when we started, I was judging it by where the sun was above the trees and I was waiting until about now to go to sleep and then thinking that oh it's fine we'll wake up just as the sun comes above the trees of course the shorter the nights get it may get to there but by the time we wake up the sun will be up here and we'll have slept for the same amount of time because it will have been a shorter process so we're gonna sleep now and it should come out in early morning there we go what a guess so have our food and our drink. The breakfast of champions eating a bear. Right, what do we need for the next bit of process is the burned out dugout hull, which requires a fire and a shovel. So, let us get these blocks of wood. Here we go. So we'll get these blocks of wood and drop them down here drop them right there and set them on fire I said set on fire give me fire thank you and now we'll pick up our shovel wunderbar and what else can we drop drop the hand axe and we'll just drop everything. I always sit around with this stuff in camp but there's really no point. I mean as long as we're in camp the chances of anything actually coming up and attacking us are rather low. So yeah that'll do. So make uh, transport burned out dugout hull uh, da, da, da. You need fire, you need a shovel. We didn't need an axe for this, so we could have dropped them and taken some of that away as well, but screw it, too late now. Just shoveling hot coals over it to burn it out and char it, I guess would be the process. I'm not familiar with it. And an inferior burned out dugout hull here to prepare. So it should be complete by night. So that's going to continue on. So we've covered it in hot coals, and it's going to just continue to prepare. And our shelter is full of crap. We are the hobo of Finland. <laughs> we are like 
a homeless person with a shopping cart full of random junk. Which, interestingly enough, I have never actually seen here in England. It seems to be something that you hear of more in America. I've never seen a homeless person with a shopping cart full of rubbish. Well, rubbish, I say there. I say that, but really, it's their possessions. One man's junk is another man's treasure and all that. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> what we are. We've got a tiny little shelter, and it is just full of crap. Just, oy, oy vey, so much stuff. We are actually going to put use to these scraps. We're going to... Mm, how many bandages we got? Bandages, where are you? Can't see them anywhere. It's not under weapons, it's... There it is, nine, nine bandages under armors and clothes. I wonder which one it counts as. Uh, nine bandages. Mm. Yeah, let's make some more. So make utility bandages ten. Uh, we need to be carrying it on us. And so each one is a pound. That's right. So let's pick up that, that, and that. And to begin with, we'll just make four see if we have enough for that. So three, that, and that. Damn it! Just not enough. So what else? Oh, we've only got the bear fur. Hmm. Let's... Ah, wait, we've got these clothing as well, haven't we? So let's pick up the cowl. No, let's pick up... What have we actually got in the way of our clothing? Thinking on it. We've got linen trousers, woolen undershirt, nettle tunic, and fur cloak. So we need to repair our woolen undershirt and our linen trousers. So we can use the linen foot rags and the woolen cowl to make bandages. And the rest we will use to fix our clothing. Yes, perfect. So very much like cooking, you don't have to keep the fire going to prepare this thing. It will just keep going, which is wonderful. So now let's go into make clothing and let's repair our linen trousers. Ah, uh, wait, no, we can't. That's part of the mod. So now, welcome to a new piece. Weaving and cloth garments and woolen garments. So cloth garments are your nettle and your linen. So, this bit is the bit that throw me, used to throw me out a little bit because with the mod you don't have the option to repair linen, woolen or nettle clothing. What you do is you take the linen, nettle or woolen clothing that you've already got and use it to remake a new piece that is at full durability. So, linen trousers. So if we go and pick up all these linen trousers and the woolen undershirt, <laughs> we're repairing two items that we've already got. So we've got two woolen undershirts and two linen trousers and we're going to try and combine them into a decent pair of each. So, cloth garments, linen trousers, need tying equipment as well. That I was not aware of. Hmm. Hmm. We need cords. We need to make more cords as well. This is a pickle. You know what? We're going to put a cut here. It's about time for a cut. So we will get to the tailoring part next time. Thank you for joining me once again today. If you have enjoyed, then please like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, when we do a little bit more tailoring and we finish making our canoe, I will see you next time.